I was awakened by a bright light in the middle of that night. My bedroom door, which was closed when I went to sleep, was no longer closed. This pattern of a light turning itself on in the middle of the night and a door that was closed when I went to sleep being open in the morning continued over the next six months. And in my office, surprises were also ongoing. I would hold my hands near my patients, their bodies would involuntarily move, and my patients would report exquisite experiences, allowing them to feel more in touch with the universe. Then came the scientists. They had heard about the healings and announced that they were there, coming for one or both of two reasons. Reason number one was that the healing seemed to occur fairly instantaneously. And reason number two was that the healings didn't seem to leave. And as I began to teach some of my patients how to utilize reconnective healing, even their family members began to have healings. Their work and family relationships began to change for the better, and a myriad of other wonderful things began to take place. Reconnective healing showed to bring us gifts not seen here before. Gifts not accessible by the multitude of energy healing techniques that have been around, both old from centuries back and new, newly created, devised, discovered, even as recently as in the past few years. It allows us to more consciously access and interact with a more multidimensional universe. And since we go where our attention is, it is what is allowing us to become more multidimensional beings. Reconnective healing either comes in the form you anticipate, or it comes in a form that you haven't even dreamt of, one that the universe has designed specifically, uniquely, with you in mind. It's not about just having what we think of classically as healings that are mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, that it's not just about fixing something, but that it's about human evolution.